Hi there and welcome to a lovely rainy day in Scotland. Um, like the weather, we're just going to leave you feeling really refreshed, strong and just great in your own body. So let's start with a couple of breaths. We'll take a really nice big inhale and feel that chest lift. So inhaling through the nose, feel your chest rise. And as you exhale, just let everything soften, let those shoulders fall. Everything softens into the ground. Big inhale, feel everything rise and exhale to soften. One more inhale, we'll bring our hands up, big stretch up to the sky. And exhale and let everything fall down nice and gently. We're going to meet on all fours here. So just in your own time, coming into all fours. And when you get there, just shift your hips a little bit, finding a nice foundation for you. Just rocking those hips side to side. You can move your spine about into your shoulders a little bit. Anything that feels really nice for you. Just taking a moment to actually be present in your own body and know where the niggles are and ease on into them a little bit. Tuck your toes, inhale your hips high and paddle here for a few breaths just to find a nice foundation, a nice centered place for you. And when you're there, just come to a little bit more of a still place. Inhale your hips high. Exhale to sink your heels back down. Inhale high. Exhale, let those heels come back. Inhale. Exhale, pushing towards your legs here, nice soft knees. And with your next inhale, let's roll that spine into a plank. Remember you can move your hands to find a better foundation here. Soften the knees down and find a back bend that's comfortable for you. This may be too high if it is, just allow yourself to come a little bit lower here. And when you're ready, just coming down with your chest and then pushing those hips side by side back into your child's pose. Tucking your toes, inhale high. With your next inhale, rolling your spine into your plank position. And exhale to lower those knees and find that back bend. Coming back into your child's position. Take a breath here. Tucking your toes with your next inhale. Hips come nice and high. And exhale, rolling your spine into your plank. Knees lower and coming into that back bend. Shift your hips from side to side to ease them back into your child's pose. Take a quick stretch of the shoulders here. Coming back to tabletop to tuck those toes. Inhale your hips high. Exhale to push forward with soft knees. And then we'll inhale our right foot high. Feel that stretch in the hips here. And with your exhale, we'll just drive it on through into a nice high lunge. So take a wee minute before those hands come off just to find a stable base for you. And then with ease and momentum, we lower a little bit, everything stays nice and soft so we can come up through center into that high lunge. If you're a little bit wobbly, don't worry about it. Just have something next to you you can hold on to. And then as we exhale, we just sink a little bit into the hips here. Big inhale. Exhale to sink. Inhale high. Exhale to sink on down. Feel that in your hips. With this inhale, we're going to open up and move back slightly. 
And then we'll exhale to charge forward. Big inhale opens us up. And charging on forward. And don't worry if you feel a little bit unsteady. Big inhale. And with this exhale, we'll just bring that left foot with us. And raise that knee when you feel steady enough to do so. Take an inhale here. And with your exhale, we'll just drive that foot forward. If you're finding this quite tricky, hold on to something. Have a wall next to you. Inhale to come through centre. And then exhale to push that foot back. Inhale, bringing us through centre again. And with your exhale, just pushing your foot forward. Inhale, brings us through centre. Inhale. And exhale, just to bring that foot on forward. Once more through center, exhaling to rise that foot back. This time we're just gonna pop that foot down behind us, finding that nice place here, back in to our high lunge. And as we exhale, we'll just spin the back heel and settling down into our warrior two. Inhale high, and exhale. Inhale high, exhale to settle and down, inhale nice and high, and exhale. This time we'll inhale high, bringing that turned foot in, so we're in a nice stance here. And we'll exhale down and make some big circles here, so every time we go low we're going to exhale, and then inhale to come back up. Exhale. And inhale high. Exhale. And inhale high. And from here we'll settle into our warrior two, but on the opposite side. So I'm now facing the opposite direction to where I was in my last warrior two. Inhale high. And exhale to settle on through. Inhale, reach in the sky, really intentionally stretch up here and exhale to sink into those hips. Big inhale. And with this exhale, we'll just windmill down, supporting with that opposite hand and coming into a lovely big twist here. So twisting and opening towards that knee. And with this exhale, bringing your other hand down, popping your knee down for some support, and then we'll spin this foot all the way back and open up into a wild thing. Feel that nice stretch. And when you're ready, coming back over with that hand just to support into a tabletop position here. Wiggling your hips again. Just finding a nice position, easing everything off. Tucking our toes, inhale high. Exhale to round that spine, spine, <laughs> into your plank position here and feel free to move the hands to find that stable base. And then we're just coming back with our knees down onto the ground and finding that nice, Stretch in the spine and remember if this is too high for you, we can bring this down a little bit here. And pushing back, tucking your toes nice and high with the hips. And exhale to roll the spine back into your plank. And from here we're just going to stay in our plank a little bit. You can continue to go onto your knees and push back into child's pose and up to down dog. Or you can settle your elbows onto the ground, pushing your hips back with every exhale and then inhale to 
to come back again. This takes quite a bit of upper body strength. <sighs> so if you're not quite there yet, you're going to inhale to come back into plank. Continue on from down dog to child's pose. And know that every yoga set that you do, you're strengthening and getting closer to those goals. So just take yourself where you are. Big inhale forwards. Exhale to bring those arms down. And just touching the elbows off the ground. And going with your breath, you don't need to keep up with me. Every inhale brings you forward. Every exhale brings you back a little bit. And wherever you are, just meeting back in child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Coming back into your tabletop, tucking your toes, inhale hips high. And take a moment to paddle and find your foundation. And then just ease that movement, finding a nice still place. Inhale that left foot up to the sky here, opening up in your hips. Feeling that nice stretch and with your exhale just driving on through in between your hands and again take the time, don't bounce up straight away, take the time just to find a nice stable base for you to come through your centre and rise into your high lunge. Every inhale sees you high and as you exhale you just sink down into those hips. Going with your breath, every inhale lifting you up to the sky and every exhale easing you off. And with your next inhale we'll draw back, opening up and exhale to charge on forward. Inhale to open up. Exhale to charge on through. Big inhale. And with this exhale, we'll just bring that back foot on with us. You can hug it in if you wish. And just find a position that's comfortable for you to be standing with one foot raised nice and high. Taking your breath here, big inhale. And as we exhale, we'll just lift that foot nice and high finding that stability. If this is tricky, hold on to something. Try not to hold on too much and remember falling can be okay. Just make sure your, your environment is safe. Bring that foot back in. Inhale on through and exhale to drive your foot back. And again, just go with your breath. You don't need to go with me. With every inhale, we transition through. And with every exhale, we raise the foot, be it at the front or the back. Inhale through and exhale just to raise that foot. And if you're unsteady, you've maybe had a tough day, just find yourself again. And ease on back in. And the only way to get better is to have a wee stumble, and we all do it, clearly. <laughs> and coming back on through. This time we're just going to bring that hovering foot back into that warrior position. We'll take a nice inhale, bring the hands to the sky. And exhale to sink into your hips here. Inhale, hips high. Exhale. 
big inhale and exhale down into your warrior and continue to go with your breath every inhale brings you high every exhale sees you easing on into those hips and we don't need to even up the sides We're just moving with every breath, every inhale high, stretching off and every exhale easing in and feeling those muscles, feeling those hips. Inhale and with this exhale just bring that outturned foot in to that nice wide stance here. As we exhale we're going to spin round in that big circle and inhale to lift yourself nice and high. Moving with your breath, lowering with every exhale, rising with every inhale. And when you are ready, so we'll just out turn that opposite foot, so opposite from where we were before and settle back in to a warrior two. Again, moving with your breath, every inhale brings you high and really stretch. And exhale to release and ease on in. Inhaling to see you high. Big stretch, really reach. And exhaling for that ease. Moving with your breath. And settling into your water or two again. And just take a moment here to breathe and settle and feel where you are. So we'll windmill this back hand up and round so we've got that support, bringing your other hand down also into this. A little bit of a raised lunge here and then we'll open up towards that knee. Take a moment here to stretch. Open everything up. Settling that back knee down. We'll spin this supporting foot up and round and opening up even further in a wild thing. When you're ready, coming back into your tabletop position here, swaying your hips, tuck your toes, inhale, hips high, paddling those feet to find that secure base. Big inhale, lift the hips, roll the spine into your plank. You can move your hands, you can rock around a little bit. Softening the knees down and taking your preferred back bend here. So you may be high, you may be a little bit lower, just easing on in. And shimmying your hips from side to side until you find yourself in either a closed leg or an open leg child's pose. Find what your body wants to do today. Pushing your hands firmly into the ground here, taking that nice big stretch. Inhaling into your tabletop position. Take a wee exhale to spin the hips, and then with your next inhale, just opening up. Either side is fine. And exhale to thread that needle on through you, resting your shoulder onto the ground if you can. And just take a few breaths here. If you wish, you can take your supporting hand, pop it around the base of your spine and then pushing that shoulder 
behind you. So just pushing it to the wall behind. And taking a few breaths. Releasing your supporting hand. Coming up with an inhale for a counter twist. And then settling back into your tabletop here. Take a moment. And with your next inhale, opening up on the other side. And exhale to thread on through. Settling your shoulder down if you can. You can also pop a wee cushion or a pillow underneath here if it helps. And if you wish, you can take that supporting hand round to the base of your spine and pushing that shoulder back towards the opposite wall. Bringing that supporting hand back round, big inhale for a counter twist. And exhale to come back into your tabletop and your hip shimmy. And we'll just find our way onto our bums. And have one final moment of breath together. So just get yourself in a really comfortable position. You don't need to be sitting how I am. This might not be comfortable for you. So find yourself in a nice comfy spot. Close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. If not, just keep your gaze nice and low. Take an inhale. And with your exhale, just release everything. Let your whole body melt into the ground. Big inhale. And exhale. your next inhale, rising your hands up to the sky. And exhale, bringing them down to heart centre or onto your tummy or your knees, just where it's comfortable for you. Take one more breath here. And open your eyes. I hope you really enjoyed that. It was a nice challenge for you. Um, it's either set you up for the day or it's been just what you've needed after a bit of a day out doing all those stressful things. <laughs> um, but hopefully that has given you the challenge that you need, has you feeling strong, and remember with every set, you're adding to your progress and you're, you can only get better the only way is up. Work on that breath work and just enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time.